toy and today we are going to make multicolored pasta using Facebook Live. So I hope you enjoy this. This is one of my uh, favorite things to teach. So let's get started so I can eat. So we're going to start off by making the fresh pasta. This is going to be really fast because we're going to use a food processor and we're going to use one of these cool Atlas uh, pasta machines. So to start with, I am going to use a little less than a cup of flour here. And I use bread flour because it's a denser flour, which makes really nice uh, dough. And I'm going to break this egg right in. So when I'm using the processor, what I want to do is I want to keep an eye on for um, a certain texture for the dough. And the texture that I'm going to look for is couscous. Now, if it forms a ball like it's doing now, that means it's too wet. Pasta dough has to be relatively dry. So, since it's too wet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a tablespoon of flour. You want to make sure you don't add too much, otherwise I'll have to put some, some liquid in. You'll see the ball breaks up. And you know, within a few seconds, we see that a ball has formed, which tells us another tablespoon or so is in order. So here we go. So this will be the plain pasta, the pasta that's not colored. And all right. So if you look at this texture, you'll see that it's small pellets. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that those pellets will stick together like that. So it forms a nice soft dough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this out. Just put this in here like this. And I'll just knead that a little bit. But you can kind of see that it's formed a soft dough pretty quickly. So the machine has done a lot of the work for us. So let's talk about the colored pasta. So I've literally finished this dough. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use spinach to color the pasta. And I'm going to take a handful, uh, this is baby spinach, we've washed it, we'll just put that right in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bag that the spinach was in, and I'm just going to put the dough that I made into this bag and keep it from drying out. And what I'll do now is I'll take, again, a little less than a cup of our bread flour. We'll put that in. Now you have to remember that the that the spinach has moisture in it. There we go. So you want to do that beforehand, before you put the egg in. Otherwise, if it's wet, it doesn't actually chop the spinach up. It just shreds it. So there you have the spinach has been incorporated into the flour. We'll take our egg. So another thing just to kind of keep in mind is that because of the moisture content in the spinach, this will actually make a little bit more dough than the plain. 
put that in. It's going to be very wet, as you can imagine, because of the spinach. So I'm going to add a couple tablespoons right in there, rather than that one tablespoon. Still too wet. Another couple tablespoons. Again, we're going to look for that same texture, the texture of couscous. Wow, really wet. But you can also see that with the addition of the moisture, the bright color of the spinach comes right out. So let's add some more there. I'll break this up. There we go. Just a note, if you have questions or anything like that, just write them down below. Getting a little closer. I want to be careful not to add too much more flour. Looks good. Again, there it is. All right, little balls of, of dough. And I'll carefully take this out. Form that. All right. So we have some nice green pasta. You'll see that it's soft, but it's not sticking to my hands. You don't want it to be sticky at all. So let's move this aside. Here's our green pasta. And Here's our white pasta. So this is, this is kind of fun here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of each, probably like well, maybe a tablespoon or so of dough. And using our pasta machine. We'll roll this out just like that. And I'll do the same thing with the spinach pasta. Roll that out. So now, this is the fun part. We'll just put these on top of one another. And we'll roll these up. And we'll go a little thinner here. Again. And you can roll this out as thin as you want. So again, it's really important that you not make the dough really wet because it will gum up your pasta machine. There we go. All right. So now, Let's see, I like my pasta to be pretty robust. So I'm going to use the fat noodle cutter. And this is a great use for a chopstick. Just get right behind that. And you can see the two colored pasta. 
So fresh pasta only takes about a minute to cook. So we'll put that right in there. I've got some boiling water here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to salt this water. This is about two quarts of water and I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt. Just mix that right in. So I'm going to just tilt this chopstick. We'll put the tip right in. And what's really important to do is for the first five seconds that you put the pasta in, you just give it a little stir. And what that will do is it'll give the hot water a chance to seal the surface of the pasta so that it doesn't stick together. So we'll let that cook for just a minute. And let's talk about what I like to put in my pasta. We've got some Parmesan cheese, some shredded parm, and by the way, um, te a room temperature cheese tastes better than refrigerated cheese, so let it warm up. And um, butter is good, but what's even better is this is black walnut, no, black winter truffle oil. So it tastes like mushrooms, which is great. And a little bit of um, spice here. Uh, this is uh, Trader Joe's Everyday Seasoning Spice. So these are my three favorite things to, to put into my pasta. Let's take a look at this. I think I've been talking for about a minute. This, this container here is, um, is great for individual servings. When I teach classes, this is what I use. Everyone gets to make and cook their own. And we got this from Ikea for I think they were like under $3, which is great. So we've got that drained. We'll put that right into this bowl, pasta bowl. Looks tasty. It's hot. And let's put in some of our everyday seasoning and just a touch of our truffle oil. And some cheese. And you know, if you want to add garnish and things like that, you could do that. But this is really good. So, so there you have it. Some multicolored fresh pasta. I think this didn't take me much more than 15 minutes to do. I don't think, we can check the time, but it's pretty tasty. Mmm. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it and um, we'll see you next time. I push finish, it okay. still shows.